eyes, they're very, we're very directed. We look at what we are wanting to see. Our ears are a little bit more omnidirectional. You can hear a sound and it, you know, this ear will hear a sound that came from there, whereas this eye won't see a sound that came from behind you. And, and LIGO kind of works the same way. It's not, it doesn't have a lot of directionality. So when LIGO is on the air, it actually is collecting gravitational radiation from almost all directions. It's, got, it's the most sensitive to directions directly overhead from the L, but it has good sensitivity in, in other directions as well. The only direction it doesn't have sensitivity in is right along the arms. So, so a telescope, you actually have to swivel it and point it to where you're looking. In the case of LIGO, you, you can't really point a four kilometer long instrument, but it does, it, do, it points according to the rotation of the Earth. But it doesn't matter terribly much because it's also pretty omnidirectional.